Hey guys, it's Eric with another great new model we're releasing here at the NRA show in Indianapolis. This is our SOCOM. SOCOM is also built on the very reliable and trusted SAR 9 platform. This one will come in this two-tone color scheme, as well as uh, it comes with a flared magwell. It'll come optic cut, suppressor height, night vision, night sights, as well as a threaded barrel. So it's a suppressor ready package right out of the box. So inside of every hard case is gonna come a cleaning kit, uh, two magazines. One of them is gonna be a 17 round magazine and the other one will be a 21 round magazine. It's a great package for the price. Alrighty, back again here. Another great model that we released here is our very exciting uh, Gen 3 models of our SAR 9. So these are built on the time tested and performance um, of the normal SAR 9, but with some great upgrades made to it. So with the new upgrades, you're gonna have a flat trigger. Um, also, again, the aggressive and beautiful slide cuts help you manipulate the slide a lot. It is gonna come optic cut with an RM RC uh, cut, night vision, um, Night sights, yeah, it's, a, it's a, a really nice looking gun. We're gonna have a whole bunch of different colors made in it. This is your normal compact 15 round capacity, safe to delete. Uh, also behind me, I also have the full size SAR-9. Again, this is just a little bit different of a color with the beautiful gray DLC coating. Uh, safety versions, we do also obviously have safety delete versions as well. So, and we also have that in the sport model. So the sport model will give you the extended barrel for target shooting. So we're really excited about the Gen 3 guns. If you touch it, you buy it. <laughs> How's it going? I was just talking about, I'm so sick of Cerakote, I never thought I'd say that because I love Cerakote. Yeah. It's like one of the greatest inventions ever. But then I was just talking it's to the Plink Stove at Henry. Well, yeah, PBD is that one. But, I said, you know what I miss? Blued finishes and nickel finishes and the old finishes, you know? And I saw this shining from over there. I'm like, oh, this is cool. So that's a nice yeah. departure from Cerakote. Yeah, a, but it is a PVD, not, it's not blue. PVD, yeah. No, I can tell it's not blue. It's, it's like it your looks, best one. Yeah. It looks awesome. It does, has a nice shine to it. We did parkerize like, though, which we normally don't do. Parkerize is yeah. good too. I love a good old fashioned park. Yeah, so the revolver, the revolver, it's a. It's I have like the a revolver. Bar, I did a video on the revolver. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. It's actually a, a great revolver for the money. Yeah. It is. It's, yeah. They're great values. I mean, yeah. The, and the quality is, is is pretty high for the for the value that you're getting. Oh, absolutely. Sure. It's, it's worth every penny. So, as I said in the video, you know, I've had Philippine revolvers and I've had nothing but problems with them. Cylinders out of time, shaving lead. I mean, if you shot them without glasses on, you're going to get something in the eye. I mean, they're just throwing stuff everywhere. And I didn't have real high expectations, but as soon as I took it out of the box and I put that first cylinder through it, I was like, okay, this thing's working great. <laughs> and did next you, thing you know. Did you find that the revolver has a pretty solid stop before the break? The whole, the whole, the, whole, yep. the cylinder rotates, stops, yep. and then releases. I tested all that in video, right? So I, I show people how to look at a revolver to make sure it's going to function properly. So I show how to time it, you know, hold, pull the hammer back, apply pressure to the cylinder, see if it locks when the hammer stops. Same thing with double action, squeeze it, pull it, and then when the hammer falls, it's cylinder lock. I did all that in video, because I, I show people. Same thing with 1911s and automatics. I show people how to tech, check them to make sure that they're solid, functionally sound. So what other uh, SAR product did you take a look at? Uh, so I have the the CZ75 competition model with the, uh, it has gray grips the now. K12. Mine has the old, like, off-white, yes, the K12. Oh, you had the, the original? I have the off-white, yep. Grips. Yep, so I have that bad boy. I have one of the, uh, I wanna say I have, uh, forget the model, this, yeah. I have, uh, I have one of the double action pistols but has a polymer frame, double action, single the action. CM9. CM9, yep, have one of those. I bought that for a affordable gun video a long time ago. It's, I think it's our most underrated gun. It's an outstanding handgun. And I'm a big fan of double action, single action for concealed carry. And so that's why I took a look at it and I thought it was a great handgun for the price. Uh, SAR has a really good double action trigger. The double, the double, the first pull is firm, 
and after it sets, but it's not overly strong that it's like, oh my God, I can't shoot this in double action. No, you can. The revolvers do the same thing. It's, um, yeah, you've done a really good job. My favorite though, right now, I gotta get my hands on the SOCOM. There's one sitting over there. SOCOM, as you see, this one has a little bit of a custom finish there. Yeah. You know, it's just lasered on, but nothing has changed. You know, you got your threader barrel, comp you know, suppressor height sights. It's got the whole sun on there. And the magwell. And the magwell, the cool thing is that the most of the plus five base pads, they also fit in here. Okay. So you know how some people, some, some companies will do the magwell and then the plus five won't fit because they're right. too big, too small. Right. Um, um, this fits in there. They fit really good. Let me see if I can find So it's 17 plus five then? 17 plus five, yeah. Wow. I've been harping on this for years. It's good to see it starting to happen. The, it's true. You know, red dots are the future. And people are saying, well, not on handguns. It's silly. It's a fad. I'm like, well, red dots a fad on rifles? <laughs> it's not a fad. Yeah. As long as the shooter is proficient with the iron sights, they can transition easily to the red dot. Yeah. But once they rely on the, on the red dot and they lose their fundamentals on their iron sights, I think it's something that they need to always keep a good on in case of that red dot fails, you always fall back to your fundamentals. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. I'm glad that you like the SOCOM. Yeah, I'm very, very so, interested in it. So for the show, I don't know if you saw it already, the Gen, the Gen 2 Subcompact. Yes. Right here. So we just released this one yesterday. It's a good looking little pistol. I know. Yeah. It shoots wonderful too. It has the 12. aluminum. Yeah, 12. 12 flush. round flush fit. Yeah. 12 round flush. And my hands, can you get a shot of that? My hands actually fit on there. I, I hate it when companies make guns that only hold two fingers, so I can get, and I have big hands, so. So that is a flush, and, and then you got the 15? The, that is a 15, yep. And it makes it more comfortable, but it does extend the, the grip a little bit. Yep. But it's a compact gun, it's supposed to be small. It's supposed to be small and flush. <laughs> that's a great that's looking what, little that's pistol. That's I would run it, with the flush mag. I love the sights on it too, the sights, the, the night sights and the fact that you can use Glock sights. That's yeah, uh, this model you can, yeah. That's it, pretty it, handy. It's, it's pretty much standard, the standard sights and the, those, like I said, those tritium, the model without the red dot cut comes with the uh, fiber. Yep. I, I heard something about them being brighter than like the Amerigos and stuff that are on the US market. It is, it is brighter. like 30% brighter, yeah. The subcompact, it can also fit the full size mags that we have here. And they do fit, and I believe we also have a 17 round extended too. We're up to 17. But yeah. any of the SAR 9 uh, magazines fits in the little gun. That's awesome for backup mags. Yeah. That way you can carry you know, two boxes of ammo. If, you, if you're going <laughs> to get into it, yeah, that definitely, don't definitely wanna, works out. Don't want to get killed for lack of shooting back, right? No. So. <laughs> well, Very outstanding. Well. Good stuff, guys. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate nice it. Thank you. you. Nice meeting you too.